So we've been absent from YouTube for, what, two weeks maybe, I think? But there's good reason, uh, as you'll find out in the continuation of this video. I was away with my church for two weeks, or two weekends, and uh, leading up to that there was, there was packing for that, and then there was, uh, there was time going out fishing and getting skunked, or catching fish and not having enough for content, but it is what it is. Everybody experiences a little bit of that, but uh, now we have a video. We, we switched it up, and as you can tell from the title, we went after some blackfish. We've been getting a lot of comments and DMs asking if we were going to do a blackfish video, so here it is. This is what we're doing. We did it, and um, it wasn't our target species for the first day that we went out. Uh, we were actually targeting some some uh, striped bass, but they didn't show up, and uh, we're like, hey, we're here. Let's go after some blackfish. We had everything for it except for the bait, so we ran to a bait shop. We went and got some uh, some green crabs, cut them up, and uh, we decided to go after some blackfish. Prior to that, uh, a couple weeks ago, before I went on my trips, I just wanted to produce a video before I went out. I went out fishing for about 40 hours <laughs> straight no sleep whatsoever, and I didn't catch a dang thing. I don't even think I had a single hit, but I went 40 hours straight, no sleep whatsoever for no fish. Brian, Samson, and Mikey came out too. Uh, Brian went out and on his first cast on top water, I was about 18 hours into my trip, and first cast for Brian, he caught a fish, which we knew from that point on, it was just gonna, be a, a crappy day as far as catching fish because of the first cast curse. So if you catch a fish on the first cast, normally it means you're not catching anything the rest of the day. So whatever. From the times that we weren't producing videos and, and putting them out, we met so many people, unbelievable amount of people out on the beach. I was talking for hours with viewers, um, people that just wanted to share their information and their knowledge of surf fishing with me. They didn't even know who I was. They just came up to me and started talking. And then, you know, we, we would explain that we had a YouTube channel and stuff like that. And everyone was so kind and, and super supportive of everything. Um, we, we met so many really great people. So if you're one of those people that we met in the last month, post a little comment and let us know who you are. Um, we want to see you again. But it, it's been really cool seeing everybody, meeting everybody, meeting the viewers, and, and seeing what our videos are doing for people. And it's more than just fishing, which is really, really cool. Uh, it's not just, hey, uh, I'm watching your videos because it's fishing. We're watching your videos because, well, we like you. Uh, watching you and Erica go out catch fish. We like watching you and your buddies go out catch fish. It reminds me of times back in the 80s when we would do that. I'm like, man, it, it was just really, really cool. But besides that, um, <laughs> That, that was that was a really cool moment for almost every single time we went out we met someone really really cool after a while of trying to catch fish on the open beach and just plugging away for big fish um, we we decided to just go in some back bays little canals whatever it might be with birds chirping all over the place it's like it's spring but it's 41 degrees <laughs> it's fall it's fall now stop but we are going light tackle, uh, same exact setup as the Florida trip. Uh, those videos will be coming out. You'll be really surprised and, and enjoy what we're doing with those, by the way. Um, but we used a seven foot, medium light action, 2,500 size reel, 15 pound braid, 15 pound mono leader, eight ounce uh, jig head with four inch little swim baits. And, and I was catching some schoolie sized stripers, drags loose, letting them pull. Uh, sometimes it's just fun to go back to a lighter little setup and catch some smaller fish and, and have a little fight and play right in your hand instead of fighting like this with a with a 14 inch striper just go light tackle for a 14 inch it's, it's, it's fun stuff a little stripey boy what you got there Bob but I got a nice little schooly striper <laughs> On light tap, a little seven foot medium light. Nice. Ooh. All right. My first little striper, he's so cute. Look at those straight lines. <laughs> that is like the perfect, that's the poster child for striper. <laughs> All right, smooch and release. Alright, I can 
go home happy now. <laughs> Let's get more. But like I said, uh, we went out and we were, we were targeting some bigger stripers after that and uh, they just didn't show up. So we went to the tackle shop, picked up some bait for blackfish. Uh, I pour my own lead weights, so I had the weights. Uh, I tied my own rigs, and uh, we started catching some blackfish on day one. All right, it's time to shine. So this is our green crab, even though it's brown. I'm sorry, my friend, I feel really bad, but I'm gonna have to cut you in half. <laughs> and then he cut his legs off. I don't enjoy doing this, by the way. <laughs> and then the back shell peel off. I don't know that you have to do this, but I just think it goes on the hook better. Oh wait, I am. I got one. I got my first blackfish. Well, everybody, my first blackfish ever. <laughs> it's a little dude. He's not quite a keeper, and they're a lot slimier than I thought they'd be. My first blackfish. Cool. Mwah. I'm gonna give him a release. Mwah. That was cool. My first ever. Nice. There we go. We got one, maybe two. Okay, all right. Don't mess this up. I fought too hard for this. Don't mess it up, Spike. Don't mess it up. Got this. Got this. Sixteen, right? Robert? What? Sixteen, right? What? Inches? <gasps> Wanna get the camera? Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. After a frustrating couple hours. <laughs> it's hard to fish with clams. Uh, crabs. Crabs. It's hard to fish with I meant crabs. crabs. They fall off your hook so easily. It's a beautiful little dude. Uh, we're gonna get a measurement just so we can know how big these actually are. I'm gonna go with 14. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 14 exactly. Wow, good guess. You wanna feel them? They're super slimy. I, I wanna see his teeth. I don't know. I don't wanna put my mouth any, my, hand, my finger anywhere near his mouth, but they've got teeth and they're super slimy. Oh, they're I see his teeth now. They're like slimy Little smallies. Tiny. All right. Oh, he's Mwah. very small. I'm gonna give him a smooch and give him a release. Got it? Yep. Mwah. <laughs> and I, I caught a, a really cool, I, this is my first time catching blackfish ever. I never really targeted them, so it was just something I just never did. Um, I've caught almost everything else, but I never caught a blackfish, and I, I caught a little, uh, I believe it was a 14 inch blackfish, and that thing fought really, really nice on my 10 foot medium action, or moderate fast action surf rod. And I was, I was hooked from that point. I'm like, all right, we're coming back here tomorrow, and we're gonna catch some more. And that's what we did. We woke up the next morning, we, we fished the same exact tide, so we had like an hour difference or so. Uh, we got up a little later, went to the bait shop, picked up more crabs. That way we didn't run out of what we had and we still had more. So we, we tripled up on the bait and put some green crabs on, put the weights on and determined, because the wind was so different from day one. It was day two, it was the wind was in our face blowing like 35, it was insane. That's what the weather people were saying. It was 35 miles an hour. So we had to switch up the weight, get it out a little farther, hit those rocks and uh, we were hooking up. My first one, I believe, was a small little guy. How do you hold them? I'm not sure how to hold them. 
those teeth. All right. He's got like straight teeth. It's so cute. All right, my friend. Whew. They are slimy. Oh my gosh. And then after that, I hooked up to a keeper size. It was 16 and a half inches and we kept him and uh, blessed one of our friends with it. He, he really wanted some, some fish and uh, we gave it to him. all the way down there. Maybe a keeper. There we go. Second cast with the new rigs, the old spike rig. It's always good to tie your own rig. It the is. other ones weren't working out too well. The weight was just silly on the top. Yeah, I don't know how you guys, or if anybody has the same difficulties as us, but the hook on top, uh, the uh, the weight on top just doesn't make any sense. But That's a big boy. Yeah, he might be 15, might be one inch too short, but. That's nice. Let's measure him. It's awesome. We got somebody that uh, we're going to bless with this. Wow. Don't look. That way, if somebody stops us, it's 16, it's 16 and a quarter. 16 and a quarter. That's awesome. Want to keep it for him? Yeah. All right. Let's get a picture with him. And <laughs> then uh, we're going to go bless a, one, of our, one of our fans. Yay. After that fish, we, we kept hooking up to uh, slightly smaller fish, not keepers. So we gave them smooch, released them, and Erica caught her first black fish, and I caught a bergal. I didn't even know those were here. I've never caught one before. They kind of looked like those little things that we were catching in Florida, which you'll see in those videos too, but um, not, as, not as blue and colorful, but it, they were there. So I just caught that little black fish. We got some rigs from a taco shop and uh, they weren't working. They had the weight on the top and they just kept tangling and they had like straight shanks. I put a little, put a little seven knot circle hook on my own rig. I tied my own rig and I put the weight on the bottom, a little two ounce and uh, second cast with that. We were getting bites all morning, just weren't hooking up, but second cast with the circle hook and uh, we got some fish and now we are hooking to hide my face because it's got eye focus on. We go through the leg we found and then out through the bottom shell. Seems to be keeping the bait on way better than any other way that we've been rigging. Or at least he's too small. Go over here. Oh. Let's do some solid green. Ooh, wee. 
<laughs> That's a cool fish. They fight so hard. For, for their size, absolutely. All right, let's, let's measure. Zeroed. Oh, 15 and three quarters. Oh. He's smaller, but he fought a lot nicer. Wow. That's cool. All right. Nice blackfish. This is fun. Wow, new species. Smooch and release. Big boy going back. <laughs> I love their teeth. Nice! You fought so hard! They're awesome. That was awesome. He's a football. Wow, I almost could my wrist hurts. It was a fun experience trying something new. One, we don't bait fish. You know, we're throwing plugs all the time. We just don't bait fish. And then going from plugging to bait fishing to catching fish, something that we've never caught, a new species. Uh, it was just really, really cool to experience. So I highly advise that you guys get out of your rut. If you're just doing one thing, go after something else, do something different, try something new. Uh, as, as the famous saying goes, when was the last time you tried something for the first time? So it was, it was a really cool experience doing that. And uh, hey, uh, we're gonna do it a little bit more often because it was, it was cool. Hopefully we get on some bigger, bigger blackfish, but yeah, it was fun. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support. Erica appreciates all the support. Everyone appreciates the support that, that we're getting, especially meeting you guys out on the water. If we're driving by and you scream at us, you know, we're stopping. We wanna to talk to you guys. We wanna see how you're doing and, and thank you for the support in person. So don't be afraid to say hi to us or, or come up to us and say that you watch our stuff. It's, it's not weird. Uh, we're over that. We're over the weird part. Um, it, it's actually really, really cool to see the community that we've made on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and, and uh, actually get to talk to people that watch our stuff. I mean, we're getting about 10,000 views plus per video and to meet 10,000 people is insane. So uh, we'd like to do it. So don't be afraid to stop us, wherever we are. If we're, if we're in Target, Walmart, a bait shop, driving down, pumping gas, whatever, it's all happened before. So don't feel weird. All right, guys, stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time. <laughs>